Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's gonna be a little bit different of a video for me. Um, not really that much different. I'm still sitting here and putting makeup on my face for 15 minutes. Um, that's it. That's really what I do here. Um, but um, this is gonna be a challenge video, which I usually don't do. So I'm actually gonna do a full face of only eyeliner. Um, I don't know if this has ever been done before. I'm sure it has. I think when it comes to like the makeup challenges, everything's been done. Um, but I've never seen this done. Um, I've never heard of it being done. So I didn't even look it up to see if there are other videos on it. Um, because I just kind of wanted to think that I invented this myself. Um, but again, I didn't, I'm sure that this has been done a million times. Uh, but I just have like a drawer of eyeliners here um, in various forms. I've got pencil liners, I've got glitter liners, I've got liquid liners gel liners um, in various colors. Um, even my foundation is going to be eyeliner today. <laughs> Definitely expect to hear some voiceover um, because I really want to get this filmed and get this look put on my face in a timely fashion, um, which I have a problem with just putting on regular makeup. But yeah, if you want to see me do an entire face of only eyeliner, then keep on watching. Okay, so I started this whole mess, and trust me, by the end of this, it's kind of a mess, um, with the Chromographic Pencil by MAC. This is in the shade NC15 slash NW20. Um, and I kind of thought that this would be almost a way to cheat the system, like, oh, well, this is going to be my foundation, because it kind of is a foundation and a stick. This is most definitely not a foundation. Um, now, I didn't prime my skin either, so on my oily skin, this stuff just kind of ended up staying really greasy, really shiny, um, and honestly, by the end of this, my face just smelled like Halloween makeup. Um, so this pencil definitely is not a foundation. Um, it's good for like spot concealing um, and that kind of stuff. I usually just use it to brighten up my waterline instead of using like a white eyeliner to, you know, add some brightness to the waterline. Um, but for what I was doing today um, for this challenge, it just seemed appropriate. Um, now, it did blend out really, really easily um, because it really is kind of like a greasier formula. Um, and the brush that I'm using, that freebie from being a VIB Rouge member, um, is really good for foundation. I like that one a lot. Um, now, I wish that I had laid down a face primer, um, a foundation primer. I also wish I had laid down an eye eyeshadow primer for this look because the eye makeup definitely does get a little bit messy and a little bit a lot bit creasy um, it definitely slides around quite a bit later on and it didn't hold up very long the entire look ended up holding up just long enough for me to get a few pictures and that was pretty much it and by some sort of Christmas miracle, um, I actually did not break out from having this makeup on either. Again, I didn't have it on very long, but I was still worried about that. Um, now this NYX eyeliner in the shade Taupe, um, it ended up being the perfect color for a contour. Um, I use it for all my contouring, nose, cheeks, all of that stuff, and it worked out really, really well. Um, it was a $4 pencil I picked up at Ulta, and like I wasn't able to test out the shade first because they don't have testers for these liners at Ulta. Um, so I went based just on the name alone. I figured taupe was pretty safe. Um, it ended up working out. I use it for my eyebrows as well. Um, now, the entire idea behind this challenge, um, doing an entire face full of eyeliner, came from the Hush app. Um, I'm sure that a few of you are probably familiar with the Hush app. Um, some of you might have come from that app. Um, it is an app where you can buy really, really affordable makeup. Um, and they also have, I don't know if you'd really call it a chat room as much as it's kind of like a like an Instagram layout um, where it's, you know, people post pictures of their makeup and that kind of stuff and you can comment and like and all that stuff. Um, well, Hush has created a new app that's in the works and they had contacted me and I joined their new app, which is um, available right now to just a very small, I guess like a test market. 
And it is very much, again, like an Instagram setup or layout um, where it's, you know, pictures of makeup, uh, there's a skincare board, there's, you know, just like a couple of different areas that you can post in. And they had posted a challenge um, to use eyeliner in a way that you typically would not use eyeliner. Um, now, I do use eyeliner as eyeliner in this look, um, but my take on this challenge was to create an entire face of makeup using only eyeliner, um, which is what you are currently watching. Um, and it really just kind of, I, I wasn't sure which way I wanted to take it until I remembered that I had that MAC chromographic eye pencil, which I figured that would be foundation. So what else would I need to create an entire face of makeup? Uh, so yeah, again, that's what we're doing. And it actually ends up being just a very basic makeup look. Um, so don't expect anything too out there or too awesome from this look because it really is very basic. Um, so again, lip liner. Um, I definitely use lip liner in this tutorial. I figured eyeliner can be used on the lips, lip liner can be used on the eyes. Um, I decided to use lip liner as blush. I thought that that kind of counted. I didn't think that really went against the rules. Um, and so I definitely use lip liner for blush. I also use it on my lips later on. But um, that, that's, that was my take on it. Um, that's how I wanted to do things. So that's what I did. And I think it was really cool for them to post a challenge like this because it really helps you to just kind of think outside the box get a little bit creative, do things in a different way than you normally would have done them. Um, I mean, you guys watch my videos and you know that, you know, I sometimes go into different color stories and themes and stuff. But at the end of the day, I kind of create the same kind of looks over and over and over again. Um, so I'm hoping that maybe this will inspire me to just kind of think outside the box um, just to create different kinds of makeup or just kind of like, you know, I'm so inspired by a lot of the Instagram accounts that I follow um, where they do like full on like artwork on their face and just, you know, things that I kind of want to do. I just never really push myself to go that far. I just kind of end up doing the, again, the same things over and over again. Um, and I don't know, maybe I'll get into doing something a little bit more avant-garde or something a little bit brighter, a little bit more colorful, um, maybe some full on like drag makeup, you know, something like that. I don't know. Would you guys like to see that kind of thing? Are you really into, you know, the really, the really artistic side of makeup and seeing that? Um, or are most of you just kind of here for, you know, inspiration for basic kind of makeup application? Um, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know down below. So again, now that we're getting into the eye makeup portion of this tutorial, um, I really wish I had laid down an eyeshadow primer first because um, I feel like things could have gone a little bit better had I done that step. Um, now this taupe eye pencil, again, really did work out as a good like transition shade for my eyeshadow, um, quote unquote. Um, it really did blend out really easily. Um, I used um, I used cheaper brushes with this look. Um, since I was uh, blending out a bunch of eyeliner, I didn't want to go in with brushes that I really cared about that much. Um, so these ended up being a lot of the BH Cosmetics brushes that were, um, I don't even remember which set this was, um, it came for free with a couple of eyeshadow palettes that I bought. Now I'm using another NYX eyeliner that I bought. This one is in the shade Moss. Um, you know, I was kind of in my mind before I started this thinking, you know, big, bright, turquoise, that kind of green look. And I think it ended up going a little bit more in just like this subtle and almost muddy kind of vibe. Um, and I don't know. It worked out okay. I don't know that I would use these eyeliners on a daily basis. They're really, really emollient. They're really creamy, so they do glide on really easy. But I feel like even in the waterline, they would probably just slide around quite a bit. They're only $4, so I don't really care that much. Um, maybe I'll try them out another time and just see how they work out. 
Now I wanted to deepen up that crease a little bit more and I wanted to start using something that I thought might have a little bit of better staying power. So I'm using the Urban Decay pencil. This is one of their 24-7 pencils in the shade Whiskey. Um, just again, because I started going a little bit more into the actual crease and I wanted to ensure that I wouldn't have a lot of creasing there um, and that just didn't happen. Um, everything that I had underneath it was so emollient um, that this definitely still just kind of like slid around and it didn't hold up that well. Um, and I still went back in with that coffee eyeliner by MAC just to darken things up even more than that whiskey really wanted to darken things up. I put it on the waterline and then I kind of smudged everything into the lash line and that really helped to deepen up the look a little bit. Um, and then off camera at some point here, I did have to go back in and really clean up the under eye area because these darker colors really just kind of slid into my fine lines. Um, I did have to do some cleanup with that chromographic pencil by MAC and then set with a little bit of translucent powder right under the under eyes um, just to make sure that it didn't get too, too messy. Um, but I think that that coffee liner really helped to just deepen up everything in the crease and in the under eye just to add that depth that I really wanted. And it did okay. I didn't really mind the look too much once I was able to deepen it up just a little bit more. And it's funny because when I went back in to edit all of this footage together, the longer that I sat there and looked at my face on screen, um, the longer this video goes on, the worse and worse my skin looks. Like it just gets shinier and shinier and shinier. Um, and again, by the end of it, it just, it straight up smelled like Halloween makeup on my face. Um, these Maybelline gel pencils are really, really really good. Um, I use this in my waterline all the time and this color striking copper. It's just such a really good metallic gold. I love this eyeliner and all of the Maybelline gel pencils that I have, I really like them a lot and I think they hold up really well in the waterline. And I didn't use it in this video, but the black one is a great cheap alternative to the Perversion Liner by Urban Decay. Um, now I'm using the Urban Decay Glitter Eyeliner on my lid. This is in the shade Midnight Cowboy. I just felt like I needed something a little bit more than that gold pencil was giving me. Um, I then went in with the Urban Decay 24-7 Lip Pencil in the shade Liar as my lipstick. And the Vice lipstick in the same shade Liar is one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. It's so good. Um, then I just went ahead and did a coat of mascara on my upper and lower lashes, and that was about it. All right, so that is the final look, um, a full face of eyeliner. Um, is it my proudest work? No, but uh, it was a challenge. I guess that was the whole point of this entire thing. My skin is so oily and my eyelids are so oily that I definitely have a shit ton of creasing happening in here. Um, that glitter eyeliner never actually set down completely. Like if I touch that, um, there's so much transfer on my finger right there. But whatever, it's cool. It was a challenge, I had fun. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscription button down below. And I'll see you guys all in the next one.